Hello everybody! Welcome to a Pioneer video! Playing Bunt Company, this deck is made by Claudio H, one of the most fluent... Is that, is that a word? I don't know. But anyway, Pioneer content creator and I love Collected Company. And I love... Even though it's probably not the best choice right now in Pioneer, uh, definitely caught my attention and I am back to the Pioneer Leagues. Uh, a card that also is weird is Garrick's Arbinger. Uh, must be here for the red black, red black mid range matchup as they have uh, mostly um, black removal spell. Uh, the rest of the deck is quite straightforward. Arc of Amir is a very good card in the format. Uh, definitely one that will tax the opponent to both mana base and they can play two spells a turn. Where round number two lost against Lotus Field the first round. Let's go. I think this hand is a little bit. Hmm. On one side, on one side, you don't think, I don't think you can keep hands without one or two drops, but I have two company. I think I'm gonna keep, this is probably on the end of the spectrum of keepable hand. Like, this is probably the worst possible keepable hand, I think. That's a very bad foil. What's going on with that foil? All right. They play mono blue, which is really a deck where you want to go fast because there's no ball, especially if they go. Okay, thank God I don't have any curves obsession. Hello, lazy. Uh oh, drop. Any two drop, please. Nope. That's fine though. That's the fourth land that I need. I don't know any. I don't know very much about Pioneer. So uh, this, as much as uh, as much as as Twitch chatter, you love to ask a question. I am going to unfortunately m deny most of them, and just only deliver some Pioneer content, playing uh, hopefully at my best of the abilities. Okay, right on time. A two drop. Thank you so much, two drop. I really appreciate your timeliness. I think we're just gonna play the worst three drop that I have in hand. That's Arkan of Emeria. Probably has a uh, both uh, Lofty Denial and uh, Gaze to something. Oh wow, they don't counter. Huh? I mean, it was my worst three drop. I just assumed they would have countered it. Hmm. Oh. Bobby, ne now, I'll let it through, I don't want to chum block. Um, then I want to go land go, cast company, opponent counters it on top of my turn and cast company. That's the goal. And hopefully one of them resolves. Opponent isn't pressuring to playing another card, and I can't double spell, so... I'm obviously in a terrible shape, I don't deny that. And I wish I played a Reflection Mage on turn 2, on turn 3. Maybe kind of wish I mulliganed. So for now I pass, I hope, I really hope my opponent plays a spell, so I can cast company. Yeah, now I got a 7, I draw another card, it's really bad, don't get me wrong. And they don't need to move, so they're probably not gonna move. Alright, so I'll play this company, they counter it. A untap. Probably play Reflector Mage. Oh, they didn't counter it? I put in place counters. Oh, wow, why do you expect that Reflector Mage works? I think they have an end, like, slip out the back, dive, deep dive. Uh, sorry, dive deep, deep dive? Oh, what's the word? Deep dive? Mm. Dive down, dive down, dive down, dive down. Um, mm -mm -mm. I think I actually want to keep back my creatures now, because the opponent's going to draw a card with a Sailor end of turn, and I play Company end of turn. Barrier Subinger connects. What do I find? Can't find a land. I find another Reflector. Although I don't want to cast it. I want to just pass, wait my opponent to draw a card with Spectre Sailor, then I play Company. They don't. 
I only have one reflection left in my deck. That's that's the best card to hit. I think I want to go. So this card can be. I don't want to fast It can get two plus one plus one counter. Yeah, let's cast company. I'm expecting them to counter this now. They don't again. Amazing. Now I get Sky Cleave and. Uh, I don't think I care about the elves because I can play one spell per turn anyway, so. Yep. Yeah. Any order? Now, I hope they go for slip out the back so that this is phased out and I don't get any damage. Very nice. So they go for slip out the back. This means that I can't bounce it though, but that's fine because I have a lot of pressure. Yeah, I think that's what they had. They just had uh, lands and protection, they didn't have actual counter magic. That's why my collective company worked. So well. Remember, I can only play one spell per turn. They don't have counter. No, no, I mean, they don't have counter now. It's pretty obvious. Uh, let's attack. The Thalia will not make this creature come to play tapped. Because it phased out. It doesn't come to play. They have the faceless Evan. Alright, let's go to combat. I certainly have to chump block the flyer. A. I I think I want to pump the Sky Cleave so that uh, it trades with the Faceless Seven. The question is, how many people do I attack with? I think with these three. And keep up one blocker for the Ascendant Spirit. It might be bad if they have a like businessman, a legitimate business person to shrink my flyer and then attack me for lethal. Hmm, because this one would be lethal, right? Yeah. So maybe I should just be only attacking with these two. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play around things now, but I think I actually I'm not in the worst of the shapes now. Okay, I got another Sky Cleave. Remember, I can't double spell. I think I'm gonna go actually Sky Cleave and hit the Spectral Sailor this turn. Yep, my play. And they can't double spell because of the Archon. Let's see if they have another protection. They don't. And I pass. They have four cards in there. Let's see if they have any flyer. Slip out the back with my Archon. Very nice that I... Very nice that I didn't attack with the blocker or I would have, I would have, I would have lost the game. I would have lost the game if I if I had attack with a creature. I can still easily lose. Like they only need to remove my spell queller and attack me. But that doesn't remove my spell queller. Okay, that does. But I'm not. Oh yeah, I'm dead. Ah, all right. Well, I don't think I could have done anything else. So yeah, exactly lethal. Good game. No flyers. Okay, good game. Auto wire zip on the back. Yeah, good game. Mono blue spirits. So we have Skylasher and Crawler Pooner exactly for this matchup. We also have uh, flyers and removal spells. Taking out some of the ground creatures. Yep. Perfect. Let's go. Yeah, Skylasher is exactly for this matchup. Okay. Can't complain. I don't have blue mana, but I don't even have blue cards as well, so that's okay. The mana base, of course, will be a little bit shaky. We uh, shake, shaky. We have a lot of um, three colors in Pioneer. Isn't as easy to fix as it's in Modern, or you know, even in Standard, I think it's easier because you can't afford to play Top Land. Whereas in Pioneer, you can't afford to play Top Land. Hello, old good. Our opponent goes with the Ascendant Spirit. And I go with the Skylasher. 
This becomes a 2-3 actually, but still fine. Can't be counter, protecting from blue, reach, has it all. We block, they have to spend two mana to pump it. I think I want to draw command. I think so. This one's gonna fight. And I'll play the elf, which will guarantee me the collected company next turn. Okay. Rodrigo Lira. Do you hear the turu turu sound now, or still you don't? Thank you so much for the prime sub. Lots of subs this week. Amazing, amazing love. Thank you, thank you. Am I playing any triumph? No, only on top lane. Do you play Lana or Elf? You can't really play triumphs. I think I'm gonna pass and just play company. They counter it. Then hopefully I draw land on top and double spell. Roll chain. Well, I guess I can company. Now we're after this resolves. Now there's Spell Queller. After Resolve, there's a Sky Cleave. I think I want to go for it now. Spell Queller. Arc of Amiria. Kimono will be turned to Skylasher. Uh, maybe, maybe. Who knows? Shuckle Geist. Okay. Draw. Mm, I think I want to try to resolve the Voice of Resurgence. Nice. I can't play another spell because of Archon. Maybe this Archon, uh, it was better to get another card. I don't know. Well, actually, this couldn't block. I could have attacked with this as well. Yeah, I, mi I missed the point. Sky Piercer? Yeah. I missed the point of damage there. I forgot that the Shackle Guys couldn't block, but I don't think it's a big deal. Alright, I played their spell for the turn. It's a curious obsession. Mm -hmm. If they kill Queller, they can cast it. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, my opponent can activate a faceless seven. Let's see, they block this. They take exactly seven, so I'm gonna attack with all here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's go to game 3, I'm on the draw, hopefully, hopefully I draw the Skylasher once again. I think I confirmed the sideboarding, Talia and Arbinger out. Arkham of Emeria I think mostly stays because it's a flyer. Not because it's about this particularly good. Actually, my opponent probably uh, benefits from the um, rule of law ability. Ooh. Many decks don't benefit, though, especially the um, Treasure Cruise decks. Plus, in Pioneer, there's just so many non basic lands. So many non basic lands. Because without fetches, you the, the mana base is really okay. Well, the mono blue deck could have. Um, I mean, there's no dismember in in Pioneer. If I was a card, if I would be a card in this deck, what would I be? 
don't know. One of the so no, actually, I don't wanna. I don't wanna go to war. I don't wanna go to war, chat. I'm gonna keep this in. It is lens of spells. I wanna just stay home and play magic. Is there any card that does that? Probably reflector mage. It plays magic all the time. Blood Moon is barely modern. It got added to 8th and 9th edition. It's not, it's not in Pioneer. Very far away from Pioneer, actually. Alright. I'll go turn to Sky Cleave. Doesn't happen very often. You need to exactly lead on Temple Garden on turn 1 to cast a turn to Sky Cleave because there is no, uh, there's no Razorberg ticket in, in Pioneer. You have to play this one. What's the best line or Elves art? I'm always going to go for Beta. Eta beta. E I am going to simply attack and pass. When it does nothing, and they play Shuckle Geist. I'm gonna go Company Response so that they can't play uh, the Geist Snare thing. Love the denial. Yeah. Okay. I can go uh, Luminarch Aspirant. Do I want to go Voice? Kind of want to go Voice. And then I pump the Lanoar Elf and attack for four. They can't block, remember. Curse Obsession, okay. Not that I have voice in play though, my, my spells are very likely to resolve. Okay, never mind, witness protection. Drop. Hmm. They could have lofty denial. So I'm just gonna go Dromacus Command now. Fight. No, actually, I have to. I have to attack first. But if I attack first, I don't play around uh, lofty denial. I guess I can fight the uh, Sucker Nine Enchantment and fight, so that I would I would be I would be actually fighting. Although I would be losing a Lunar Elf that way. Tough choice. I think it's important to play around Lofty Denial, so I'm gonna go Drumcast Command now before combat. I go, um, Sack and Enchantment fight. So if they suck the witness protection, ah, no, but actually they can suck witness protection then. For standard mode has been used? No, you kill card, kill closer or crucifix all the time. Ay -ay -ay, what do we do here? Really wish I killed this chuckle guys instead of playing a uh, voice now. Okay, I think the play is. Go to combat. Pump Sky Cleave, not attack with Lanar Elf. How much damage is that? Doesn't matter. And then I go for Dromoka's Command. Second enchantment, fight. Let's see what they have. Three cards. They still have to sacrifice an enchantment, even if they protect the card. Ether Gust. Oh, come merda. I have a bit. Go. I didn't think about that. I think about Ether Gust. I thought they never had any hard counter. So I thought that. Um, by playing this way, I was uh, playing around. Okay, Supreme Phantom, that puts me to nine. Supreme Phantom also pretty good at blocking. I have enough damage to kill my opponent next turn though. 
Obviously, they could have um. Just so my upkeep. Right, so let's go fight and sacrifice an enchantment now. Fight with Supreme Phantom, sacrifice an enchantment now. Uh, I don't want to shock here. They have one card in end. If it's Lofty Denial, I have the mana to pay. If it's Gaze Light, Snare, I have the mana to pay. They tap two mana to tap a creature. Oh, I didn't think about that line. Okay, they tap two spirits to tap a creature. Sure. Let's be, let's be a, 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 afraid of Faceless Oven now. What do they sacrifice? They have to sacrifice an enchantment. Luminar Casper is so good. So good. What did you sacrifice? Legitimate businessman you sacrifice. Okay. Now, we have to play around Faceless 7. This is only 4 damage, though. This is only 8 damage, though, so I'm not even dying. But they could flash in a flyer. Hmm. I think I'm attacking with, um... Lunar Elf and Aspirant. Leaving back the face, the voice. To do the 5? Yeah. If I instead attack like this, put it goes to four. Hmm. Actually, if I attack like this, I die to Supreme Phantom. Because they go land, I, 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 need, I they need land Supreme Phantom to kill me. They can go land Supreme Phantom and they have a uh, quattro più cinque nine damage. Hmm. But if I attack with one land or elf, I might lose the game. I think I don't want to play around the Supreme Phantom. Yep, I think I'll do this. And I also play land because, um, yeah, I might need to play around uh, another uh, mana leak effect next turn. The left doesn't matter anymore. Okay, let's see. I die to exactly land the Supreme Phantom. I don't think I die to many other things. Okay, so I'm not dead. They flash anything, I can still block. I mean, what do they flash though? They couldn't have, uh, I guess, another Spectral Sailor. Mm, it's not lethal, Spectral Sailor there. The Rato Chain, they couldn't have it because I played Romka's Command, they didn't cast it in response. Alright, so they drew and passed, not even played the land. Archon of Emeria. Well, of course, this is not bad, it's a blocker. Uh, I think I have to start by applying lethal. So let's go to combat first. I have to apply lethal here. How do I apply lethal? I think by pumping aspirant. Is that is that a reasonable play? Pumping aspirant and just send all. They have two blockers. They're still dead. So they they, they need something else. If they have Otawara, I don't die. So I think it's a good attack. Oh, we get a token with voice. You're right. Because they sacrifice the thing. Okay, so they activate Faceless 7. They concede. Wow. All right. Good game. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Good game. Not, not easy to play this match for sure. Pretty tough. Pretty tough match to play. All right. Take a bathroom break. Refill the water. Be back for a match.
Okay, I am back. Let's go. No point to play Archon pre-combat. I don't think so. I don't think there's... I mean, I guess two spells? They play two spells? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I should play Archon pre-combat. Yeah. Yeah, and the reason why I should play Archon pre-combat, I think, is because... Um, my opponent could have blocked the Faceless 7, played a card, and then tapped the mana with Faceless 7 to play their card. Whereas, if I play Archon pre-combat, maybe they can't do that. Shipper Sanctuary is a card, uh, it's always weird because it's card disadvantage. You get card party when your opponent plays one removal spell, and you get card advantage when your opponent plays the second removal spell. But that takes, um, I don't know, a lot of situations. Like, you have to be on the play with it, or rather, you have to start your hand with it. And uh, not good draws later. I don't know, I've never been a fan of this card, but it wasn't the side and that deck. Here I am. Yeah, Mono Blue. Mono, Mono Blue is one of the one of the pioneer decks. It has good and bad matchups, but yeah, unfortunately, I missed my chance to find an opponent, and now there's the famous pioneer dead cues. No, I'm not, I'm joking, but I mean, obviously, less players than in modern. Carpet of Flowers. Uh, I don't think it's good. No. Not that many dual. There's there's no fetch land. Very little basics. Type. Three mana confluence. People ask me why don't I play Pioneer? I mean, just, just, just look. The, the, I, I, uh, uh whatever. I'm uh, here. I am. So, okay, we found an opponent. Let's go. Through, through hero. Ooh, wow. This is an Italian streamer that I often raid. With Giganta the Wellspring. I got an elf, but I think the um, rest of the hand's fine. Invents go. Hmm. Alright, I drew a fountain. I guess I'm gonna play that. Young Pyromanzo. I'll go voice. Voice uh, dodges removal spell, unlike uh, Luminarch Aspirant. Which dies to removal spell. Wow, the milled village rights. Unexpected. Ledger Shredder. I'm gonna bounce the Shredder here. Or maybe kill it. Let me attack first with voice. And then I think I play Reflector on the Shredder. Just to get on board. And also I'll use all my mana. Okay, black mana, let's see what they do with it. Can I just say being on the draw is bad? <laughs> Deadly dispute. Powerful. I don't see myself winning this game, if you're asking. 
I needed Archon, maybe. I don't know. I'll pass. Since I don't want to trade with the elementals. They'll put in six cards in hand. They have treasure crews and we're just playing another game. Sagemore Witch. Nice. Deputy of Detention. I don't even think it does that much. I mean, sure, it kills it kills a couple of pyromancer. And then Ledger Shredder. Okay. I want to attack with this Agar because I'm sure it doesn't have trample. We just put three elemental in front of it. Oh, I even I even sequenced poorly. Such a noob. Should I play a uh, shutter first? What do I pump? This. Thought sees. We have some flyers. Yep. All right, all right, all right. Playing a different format right now, so let's just go to the cyber. Maybe my prison elements can stop him. So these, uh, this one is not good. The question beast actually is fine. Cracker? Nah, probably bad. Stripper sanctuary must be all right. Sky Cleave and Gideon. That's seven cards. What do we take out? Spellqueller. That's a flyer. I take out the Aspirant. Good old dice to removal. And then the Arbinger. Easy. Let's go. Problem with Trekker is the dice to removal. I guess also Talia. Maybe Trekker is slightly better than Thalia. Yeah, plus Thalia is legendary. Yeah. I can't believe that you would... I mean, whatever. Let's not uh, give any attention. Raydane does uh, maybe something better than Thalia. Hmm. Thalia, no, that's fine. One Thalia. Heretic Cathar. Shield mode. Nah. Not too many mana sinks. You need mana sinks. I mean, sure, you could play, you could say that. It's just some 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 decks don't need mana sink. Does Burn have mana sink? Coco gets worse. That's true. All right, keep. I think I bought him um, uh, the Skyclave. Although obviously it's strong. We should. I was bought on Skyclave. I can't cast him now. Questing beast as large. Big guy, Quest and Beast. I 
I'll ask her to make sure that uh, Treasure Cruise is kept under check and then eventually I can tap with it. Okay, unfortunately I don't have a removal spell in my hand. And I would have had the mana if I bought him the spell queller instead of the sky cleave. I mean, I guess I should have played a turn two mana confluence if that was the case, but. No two mana Talia? No, two mana Talia. Oh, good. Spiromanzo. Spiromanzo gonna get countered. Also, on Lessons Hers, keeps um, the Fiery Eyelet in. Uh, the, um, what's it called? Fiery Impulse in check. I think I'll go for Gideon. Gideon! I mean, I drew, I drew well this game, huh? I drew very well this game. Next turn, the Gideon starts attacking. Boom, boom, boom. 5-5, five, five, I'm unkillable. Lava Coil. Popper Legal. Is Gideon French? I don't know. Where's the where Gideon come from? Gideon, Gideon, Gideon. I don't know. I, I like I like to say I like to say the French accent. I don't know why. I've always I've always done it this way. Okay, they have a land. They attack my Gideon. Drop. Let's go, questing beast. Let's turn it up and let's attack with all. Masi, my boy. Hmm. Consider. Remember, because they can't block Western Beast. Hmm. All right, six damage. You gotta go. I'm slow rolling this company so much because I know that uh, my brick, and uh, I'm just happy to cast this two out of four drop first. Italian streamer bottle. That's 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 what's happening. <gasps> what a claim! My firstborn. How dare you? All right, fine. I'll let you claim my firstborn, my knight ally token, owned by Nero Grande. Now I can sacrifice it with village rights or deadly dispute. Eaten alive, si va bene, ma che? Si va bene, ma che cats? Chat, what's happening here? Firstborn into eaten alive? What's even real at this point? The Kinkas treasure cruise. Fry in the graveyard. Okay. And then my Gideon isn't dead. They have three cards in end. On top. And I draw. Uh, 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 um. Uh. Allora. Let's play this company main phase one. Let's see what I hit. But, ah, I can't even play land or elf now. <laughs> Lul! Lul. Uh, token, I guess.
uh, eats something in your graveyard. They don't want to let you cast Cruise that easily and pass. Gideon hasn't really performed very well, I have to say. You know what has performed very well? My opponent deck. Every time I play Pioneer, I just love my opponent decks and I hate mines. What's up with that? I guess because my opponent always plays Treasure Cruise and I never do. No, I mean, sometimes I play Treasure Cruise. I thought this game I curved out great, but my opponent just kind of clowned me, I have to say. The last league uh, modern, we went 2 2. I didn't want to play the last match. Alright, my Lanor Elves got taken. Now, thankfully, I think my opponent. Hmm. Hey, I'll kill my Gideon. Goodbye, Gideon. Thank you for your services. Good morning, good morning. Thank you, thank you for your services. Oh, I should have blocked with the Archon and Elemental as well. That was a punt. I apologize. And then you return Giganta to your hand. Okay, that's good to know. Drop anything in my, in my deck? Manco per il caso. You go. I should call the opponent. I think he's streaming right now. As a, a Twitch chatter earlier came in to tell me my opponent's end. They did a great help. For the stream, the integrity of the game, the integrity of our nation, you know. Spell. Oh, a very timely shipper sanctuary. Thank you. Thank you, Shaper Sanctuary. I mean, we're honestly not in the worst shape in the world. Like, I was point is gonna. Oh, punt! They they shocked, but they forgot about the Archon, so they they, they took two damage for no reasons. Nice. What is this menace? Uh, double block. Hmm. Okay. Ah, since it keeps eating. <coughs> Spell. All right, that qualifies as a spell. Funny, funny interaction between Archon and Shredder. <laughs> you can't anymore uh, surveil with the Shredder. Sorry, connive with the Shredder. When I play their Giganta, which is okay, they don't. They play Pyromanzo. Babine. Do I care about my graveyard? Let me do a quick check. I guess I don't pump again. I have another hearse in my deck. If I draw it, I might want to grow that one. Okay, so here I could, in theory, attack with the two Archons. I don't think it's bad. I get through two points of damage, which might be relevant. My opponent now can even go like... Shock the Archon, so I draw a card and then I spell Queller the card. Spell Queller plus Archon is another good combo. Okay, they go Ether Gust on the Shipper Sanctuary. That's fine, I think I just bottom it, I don't care about it.
Put us on six. If they're not cautious, they might die. If they attack with a shredder, I have six damage in the air next turn. I think the, the attack there was important for me. Honestly, pretty happy that Shipper Sanctuary traded for a card, although it was like a dead card. So. Okay, opponent sends. Okay, opponent doesn't send anymore. I'll crew to hers. I uh, think I play the Spell Queller. His opponent is going to play Giganta, most likely. The Spell Queller does nothing, so might as well, uh, might as well cast it, right? And I want to kill the Pyromanzies. Taking uh, a lot of damage. I should have... Should have got two card in damage step. I missed it. Now opponent can play Treasure Cruise. So that was a mistake by me. Not having the stop. If I was paper if I was playing paper magic, I would have been able to, but I thought about it in block phase in the magic online that is uh, too slow. Okay, they go eaten alive on my on my hearse though. And they also gain a life. Uh, Spell Queller could have uh We'd have countered it eaten alive. Alright, take a turn. Another Archon. Okay, so I'm on 7. Let me count now. <sighs> yeah, because I'm also on 7. Um, this one, I can like what? Do double block on this. Block this. And then it's force 5. If I attack with two Archon, they go to five. Maybe it's the play. Maybe the play is to attack with two Archons and then play a new one. I certainly have to attack. I can't stay back, right? Maybe I'm dead on board, but I don't think things get better if I don't attack. They have three cards in it, one of which is a Giganta. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. If they have nothing, we survive. Although we might not win the game next turn because they have to chum block, so close game. I mean, um, very close game. They attack with all. We double block a Sedgemore Witch, block the Shredder, and I take six damage. Although, of course, I lose a flyer, so I'm not lethal anymore. No, never mind. I am lethal. Yeah. I'm lethal. So they can't do that attack. I mean, it really depends on what they have in hand, of course. But, yeah. V very hard game, I think, on both sides. Okay, looks like Putin goes to combat and does that attack. A I block... Like these? Hmm. What if I block like these? Hmm. Maybe this is better. Now I'm lethal. Yeah, maybe this is better. This is 6 damage, and then I'm lethal in India. So yeah, let's block like this. Can't play around anything other than just Giganta. If they just had Giganta, I win. Because they have four attackers in the air. If they have a removal... Oh, wow, they conceded. Good game.
The attack with Ola would have also been lethal, so no ways they they didn't have anything, no ways they could have uh, got out of the situation. Okay, I'm playing against uh, Eaten Alive, that's King Ghidra, thank you for the raid. Welcome everyone from King Ghidra stream. Thank you so much to the un Unlicensed Hearse, which was probably very good at stopping my opponent's treasure cruise in end. Um. <laughs> oh, you, you you played against me in first match. All right, all right. You're okay. Yeah, good games, good games. Yeah, it looks like the only pioneer players are streamers because I've only played against streamers so far. Is there any non-streamer pioneer players? Why did he not attack with the flyer? Mm, I still had a lethal uh, block. Double block the, the, the shred, the, the witch. Alright, let's bring in these. Uh, Reflector Mage is good, but I think that this one's good, good. Gideon, it doesn't seem great. Questing Beast. I can break the stalls. Maybe Spell Queller isn't great. You know what? Maybe it's bad, actually. The, the elves. Yeah, maybe the elves are bad. Mm, although I'm on the draw, no, I can't take out elves. All right, let's take out the quellers. What about Rene in the backside? I don't like it. I don't like the card. Yeah, I mean, it was. Um, I don't think they. I mean, if they had nothing in hand, there was no. Wow, what, what, what a hand. They had nothing in hand, there's no way they could have. Um, they could have got out. But again, thank you for the Raid King Ghidra. For the mulligans. Yeah, they're Giganta, but Giganta does nothing. Yeah, Drew Magaric Sarbinger, not bad. I thought my opponent was the deck that plays like Fiery Impulse and something, but it looks like they don't play Fiery Impulse. By the way, what a great mana base. I mean, I don't know, but like, it's going so well for me so far with the mana base. I want to applaud uh, Claudio H for building it. Yeah, but it's still that to my flyers. They attack with a flyer. Claim the firstborn. Oh, you have the combo. Madoka combo. I hope they break at least. Come on, break. Nice. At least they bricked. How's my company doing? Eh, it's probably pretty poor, but yeah. At least they didn't like quadruple me for one. They only like three for one. All right, actually, they used to re they used to spell. To draw two cards and kill my creature. And make a treasure. That's a three for one, yeah. I guess the treasure isn't really worth a card. The discarded company, ah, annoying. Very annoying. Go! We got nothing all of a sudden. I thought I had a great hand, and all of a sudden we only have a hearse and a voice. The result? result? No, I think it's just that people love the card collected company and the uh, uh, creatures. From the good old days. Yours is pretty annoying for them. It is, it is. I mean, I'm not upset that I've drawn hearse. I could have drawn a land. Top the cup, this deck is really poor, but yeah, a lot of things went on in their turn. They went, okay, this is annoying. They have three cards and they fry my boys, sure. Draw, nice draw. I can't cast it because I want to cast Reflector first. That grows the Elemental token. Yeah, I don't want to offer the trade because the the, the level of mystic grows the mental token. I can't double spell, but that's all right. Sedge, Ward paid three life. That's irrelevant. Unlike uh, I don't know, relative measure or. Uh... Okay, that was a nice two for one for the voice. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's true. I could have activated her and did one more point of damage. I didn't think about that. I think I'm gonna attack here. See if they block with a witch. They chump block. Okay. Ward pay three life, sure. And go. One has three cards in it, one of which is a young pyromancer. Splinter Twin put up results yesterday. No, it also did very poorly. Uh, what did I do? Just play the land? Okay. Oh, bravo, Mengu. Bravo, Mengu, bravo. Bravo, Mengu. Uh, attack. Then I exile two cards and pass. Always nice to draw Collective Company in top deck mode and hit two three drops. When I replay Sage, but only has one card in hand, draw. Voice. Not the worst. Let's play it. Let's attack with. This is X proof, but whatever. If I trade with the Sage, I think I'm fine. In Hyrus, I want to exile more cards so they can never play Cruise. Ooh, they don't block? Nice. Well, I can't uh, cast it now, but I don't I don't I don't even want to. And they concede. Woohoo! Bent Coco. Cooling us command they have. Okay, thank you. I'm always thinking about uh, I don't know spells for like final of prop. I, I don't I don't even know, but yeah. Yeah, I mean a license hers is, is very nice. You know, the original list plays three. I decided to go down to two, but maybe because I think three is a lot. The second hers usually isn't so good, but uh, yeah, the first one is amazing. Doom. Il serio. Okay, my opponent is a serious person. Yeah, the number of, th of three offs in this deck is, is very, very strange. So many three, draw three offs and you're thinking, should I play Yorian and put them all to four? But no, then you don't draw company. Okay, my opponent very serious leads on the play on the mulligan to six. I have a great hand, just like every single deck, just like every single time. I think, I mean, it depends what happens on my opponent's side, but I think you should lead on Elvish Mystic off of Temple Garden. No, maybe not. Since I have Reflector Mage, I can go Botanical Sanctum. Because if I go Bot Temple Garden, I can go turn two Sky Cleave, but. Since I have Reflector, I don't think I need it. So I just play my Tropical Island and pass here. Adanto Vanguard. Alright. Interesting card. I'm gonna bounce it back to hand, back where it came from. And if I didn't have Reflector, I would have gone Temple Garden turn 1. But since I have Reflector, I mean, this play is also amazing. You pay for life? Any life payers? Thanks to Lana or Elf, you just steal the play. It's so insane. You just, you're like on the play now. 
Sati op light. No, but back it gets. You can still have sharing your problems. I wasn't going on it. Sure. Sure, opponent. Sure. So, beat the questo. Go ahead. And now the collected company will rain. Will make him rain. Rain, rain, rain. Oh, come block you. Oh, oh, oh. Chat. Chat. What are, what, what's happening? I guess we're gonna company now then. We better not brick. We better not brick. You better not brick. Spell Quella? Boom! Take that! Six choices, all of them different. This, this is the deck I like. This is the deck I like. This is the deck I like. Allora. Bo, I don't know, whatever, opponent, you dead. I'll get, uh, like, what, Skycleave and Thalia. Sure. Point of waiting for me to take a screenshot before they can concede the game. Okay, Boros Little Creatures. Testing Beast. Crawlerpooner. Oh, Skycleave for sure. I think Crawlerpooner. Oh, what? Questing Beast? Yeah. Fine. Vamos! Keep Gideon? Yeah, maybe better than Quest and Beast. Yeah, could be. Mm. Oh, sir, it's his beer. Now, if I top the Skycliff, I can cast it on turn two, but I think it's fine. I don't want to take unnecessary damage. Ancestral Anger. Okay, do you not have a second land? I would hate that to happen. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen. Oh, Reckless Rage. Okay, you killed my elf. You bolt my bird. I respect that. Hope you also bought this one. This one is useless now. That's strong. Plus two plus zero draw a card. You can watch me all the time? Yeah, unfortunately it's Friday, so I'm not gonna be streaming tomorrow the day after, but I'll be back on Monday. And also you can check the YouTube channel if you're left behind, because uh, there's one video every day over there. Ooh, a reflector. Should probably cast that one, huh? Yeah, let me target first. Not even? What'd you do there? Two mana? Apostle Blessing is not in the format. Sejiri Shelter. Okay, that's still card advantage for my Reflector Mage. Not that this matchup is about card advantage, but just saying.
Well, I think a block. To play a pump spell is fine. It's gonna be just a trade. That. Four mana? Okay. Okay. How much damage is that? I don't know, not enough. What is one card in hand? You think I blocked? Uh, I'll play Thalia because that's first strike. It's a powerful ability. They did not reveal Giganta. I'm not sure what that could mean, honestly. Oh, maybe it's the 2-2 two, two for 3 mana, the, the Paladin. Expert from black and, and red. Okay, to play land, they have only one card in hand. Actually, let's sequence this correctly. <laughs> First play voice. And then play Archon. You don't want to do the opposite. Hey, do I attack? I think I have to attack. I can't really stay back forever. I guess now I die to God's Willing plus another, another spell, but I feel like I have to attack here. I don't even die to two, two removals because the voice makes another blocker. So if I attack like this, oh, it's too much. Maybe this one shouldn't attack. I attack you for five, you go to seven. Next turn, I attack with all, and then you still die. So I think it's a fine attack here. They didn't even have a creature to block with because Talia makes it, it come into play tapped. This was cited in just as a two mana play, not doesn't have any actual uh, ability. Let's see if they can close it or if we go for three and one. Ponente. I have white and green creatures, so God's Willing doesn't uh, let their creature through. Plus, they can only play one spell because of Archon. Yeah, but I could still die, actually. If they go like Reckless Rage, God's Willing protection from green, I lose. Oh, DRB. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Archon, uh, Archon is very good in this format. That's why you play four. It's the, like the only card you play four of. Okay, they start with God's Willing, so now I win. Because they only play one spell per turn. They can't Reckless Rage and God's Willing in September? Yeah, for sure. They can just kill the Archon first. No, you can play another spell opponent. You cannot. I will block. All right. Good game. Let's go to round number five. Again, picked up a loss against the Lotus Field and then rattle off three wins. Four one, let's go. Yep. Yep, yep, yep.
Do I think Lotus Field is legit? Uh, top 8 did, um, two, two Lotus Field top 8 did the last uh, challenge. Yeah, I think it's a good deck. My opponent had a very crushing draw. They, they had all the, all the Lotus Field and the uh, way to untap it. It's nice. Yeah, Garrow Carbinger, I didn't expect it. Let's see if I get paired against a Rakdos deck. Huh. Not only, um... Nah, I think I have to mulligan this hand. This one. What a forest, I think. I leave double blue, double white, sorry. Do I believe Ben Company or Ben Spear is a better place right now? I don't have an answer. Irrigated farmland. Let's go. Point is probably blue white. Happy with my two voice of resurgence. Yeah, weird least. A lot of three three each. Yeah, for sure. Opponent probably has uh sensor, things like that. I'm gonna Go for the bait first. I think voice is too good to, to be countered by a sensor. Or they don't have it. Okay. I am already qualified for next year's uh, uh, European tournament. Yeah. Let's attack for three. And then I'm gonna go off curve. But uh, I think it's important to play voice. Actually, I can go Thalia. Then next time I can go double voice. I think it's better on my curve. With Thalia, they can't play Supreme Verdict anyway, unless they have basic lands. Which they could. Oh, they do. So they can go Supreme Verdict now. It's annoying. It's annoying. I wish I played my voice now. And pass. Let's see what they do. Teferi, Time Raveler. That will... Um, we can kill it with Dromoka's Command. So it's not the worst. They can play um, a removal spell plus Supreme Verdict. The Volkmeister, 43 months, ever since the first month. Thank you so, so, so much. Yeah, I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Playing some Pioneer, which I rarely do. Put in cycling some sensors. Two sensors. They didn't have them before, though. Okay, six land. Hopefully, it's not a the 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 dream stalker. Oh, emperor. Nice. Nice. Strong. Yeah, I think I cast this Reflector. I kind of lost the game where my opponent uh, sweep there. How do I like the format? It's not my favorite format, but you know, it's a it's a cheap format with new cards, so that's okay. I think I wouldn't play it over modern, but um, yeah, do change a little bit. I think I wanna yeah bring more different 
different seas in my channel. Play some Legacy and Pioneer and Popper. Not only Modder. Modder will always be my focus, though. Okay, the opponent got two cards. And you know what? I don't think I can ever play around. Uh... Ooh, what did I do? Hmm, okay. I think I can ever play around uh, Supreme Verdict, so I'm just casting uh, Sky Cleave. I guess now this is very obvious that they have a Supreme Verdict, so I'm not casting it. What well, one do I enjoy the most right now? Um, yeah, I like, I like, I like Modern Popper. I can't wait to play some Popper because I haven't played Popper in a long time. But today I'm gonna go to my LGS. Finally, after over a year, sorry, not very over a month that I don't go to my LGS. I had two weeks of COVID, then I went to Berlin, then I went to Sweden. So it was just a full month of uh, just never being able to go there. Farewell. Okay. The four cards in hand. Not conceding because I still have company in my deck. Although, kind of want to concede now. Yeah, let's go to the sideboard. Blue, white, control. I have a lot of bad cards. Let's see. Let's just check out the good cards first. Western Beast, Garrix, Tracker. Probably Skylasher as well. Nah. Shipper Sanctuary? Sure. We just won. Stroke. Gideon. Yeah. Let's take out the Reflector Mage. The Sky Cleave. The Dromokas Command. I guess Dromokas Command is fine. Maybe one Lanner Elf I can take out. Yeah. Go with this. You want to bring in Redain. Mm, I guess Redain stops Supreme Verdict. And uh, yeah, I should have brought in Redain. That was a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah I should have brought in Redain. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, let's go. Yeah, also, also the... All right, here I have a turn two Arbiter. I hope that that brings me card advantage enough. Let's go. Attack, attack. I'll play Alvish Mystic. I just want to beat down. I don't care if my opponent sweeps me next turn. I mean, this turn after this. I might just draw a company and then I can attack and cast company with the elf. Okay, looks like they don't have a Supreme Verdict. Have I seen the Esper list? I didn't. I did not. Unfortunately, Drummond Command doesn't get rid of the portable hole. That's okay. No reason for me to bluff company. Opponent is in a spot where they can't really play around it. Alright, Spell Queller. This will seal the deal, I think. The Spell Queller can even counter Supreme Verdict. Because it exiles. It doesn't counter. And super strong mana confluence, of course. All right, easy game. Our Carpenter, nice card. All right, let's bring it back, Redain. What's bad, you think? Maybe Thalia's bad? Yeah, Thalia seems very bad. Uh, what about uh, more? What about, no, Dramaka Command is fine. Yeah. yeah, I think I like this configuration. Okay, last game of the league.
Not the best hand, but I can't mulligan every hand that isn't perfect. What's there is to cut a or Elf? You want it in your opening hand, but you really don't want to draw a second one. I think seven is too many. I don't have double green, but that's uh, fine. I'll find it. I'll find it in time. I have other three drops to cast. P old, okay. Drop. Hmm, Archon of Emeria. Should I go for that or should I go for Thalia? I think Thalia beats slightly harder. Would love to have cast this Gideon this turn. That would be amazing. I think I'll play Redain to try and play around Supreme Verdict. I need to draw in on top land. Desperately. I would love if it's a forest so that I can also cast my Arbinger along the way. Theft. Okay, Brazen Bar can block the Uridain. A little bit annoying. I have one basic in my deck. Okay, that's the the Redain. That's the all the fountain I needed. I think I'll attack first. See if they trade with Borrower. If they do, my Gideon will resolve. Because they don't have blue mana. Okay, looks like the trade happens. Then I'll go for Gideon. Still no double green, but that's alright. I have a Planeswalker in play. Can't be that bad. They have four cards in hand. They could have Teferi, of course. Oh, Faithful Absence. Yeah. And then Peel, okay. I have three cards in hand. I miss a land, that is very annoying. I think I'm gonna go Braca Clue uh, Asp first and then Asper. I go under sensor, sure, but if I draw land, I could have casted a more impactful cards than uh, Asper. Wow, they don't do anything. Crazy. Okay, let's hope they don't have Teferi. Please don't have Teferi. Wow, what's that? Dream Trawler. Very few answer for it. Clip Wings. The Baneslayer Angel. Wish it was the Fairy. Six damage coming in. Oh no, it's the fair as well. All right. They oh, a draw card? Sure. Hey, I'm on 10. 
So I'm obviously like not not in a good shape. I don't expect to win this game, but I don't lose like every single glimmer of hope that I have. The aspirants beat very much down. And again, don't get me wrong, I'm probably losing this game, but maybe there is a chance. Just... I don't know, maybe Garg Sabinger connects, find a lot of a double spell, they flood and not, don't find anything, and I win. That could be something happening. I'll play a flyer here. Yes, uh, actually, this one is clunky. I guess I can chump block with this. Yeah. The Devish Mystic remained there to chump block the all of the Storm Giants. And the Archon would chump block the Dream Trawler. Again, I'm most likely not going to be able to win this game, but I keep on playing as it's also like the last game of the league, so. Not really much to lose. I want to jump block with this because I need to double spell. And thanks to Garrick's Arbinger, maybe I connect. Although if they just leave up, leave back the all of the Storm Giants, it's gonna be hard. I'm also supposed to play the Arbinger first to pump it, to then go through the all of the Storm Giants. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Now I can't attack. I'll play them all. No baby jays. Not that many spells to flashback. I guess. I don't know. Not so good. Double block? Yeah, maybe I should have double blocked. Alright, good game. Good game, good game, good game, good game, good game, good game. Fine, fair enough. It's a fine deck. I don't think it's particularly good or anything, but uh, it, was a, it was a close league. Thank all of you for watching.